Hi there. I'm just getting all the pebbles and mulch out of my boots before I get started here. But we are back at it today. I have a few minutes before we leave and we're going out of town today. We're gonna go see the Luke Bryan concert in Indianapolis. So we know the keyboard player for, the, for Luke Bryan and so he's getting us free tickets to go see him. So we're really excited. It's only about two and a half hours away drive for us. We're, so we're excited to go on a little bit of a trip, go down see the concert, spend the night and then come back. But before uh, Nate gets home, I have about an hour or two to get some things done. And so I thought I'd get back at it with the spreading of the mulch. So let's go. While we're back here getting the gator, I wanted to show you, oh, chipmunk. <laughs> so you know how like our phones listen to us and like creep on us? I'm not like a conspiracy theorist, but I do know that my phone is listening to me. And I swear it thinks that I talk about chipmunks and raccoons all the time because on my Facebook, it's been showing me ads for raccoon t-shirts and chipmunk t-shirts. And usually those ads, I'm like, oof, oof, I don't want that. I don't want all this stuff. And those I was actually like, hmm, <laughs> I actually might buy a chipmunk and a raccoon t-shirt. I might actually like that. That sounds accurate to my life. Anyway, right here, do you see? That's where we kind of came. I'm walking on my brother's retaining wall here, but this is about how far we made it with the mulch. So I want to continue this all in through here. And believe it or not, I, I cleaned all this out last fall, right? You guys that were with me, oh, the plane is coming by. For some reason, when the planes come by, it sounds like a jet engine on the movie, but it's not that loud in real life. So sometimes I don't even realize it. But anyway, believe it or not, I did clean all this out of all the big yucky trees and scrub bushes last fall. And then I did a little bit more on it this spring as well. So really all this is is just like, I'm gonna wait till he's gone. And actually I live in the country and a lot of the farm fields around here are doing the crop dusting right now. So that's, I think that's what that is cause he keeps like kind of flying back and forth. But anyway, I did actually work on this, this cleaning this out last fall. And then I did a little bit more this spring, like cutting bigger logs and stuff with my free pink chainsaw that I got and uh, so this honestly this isn't that bad it's just a lot of like lower leafy vegetation like all of the big trees and scrub bushes and things like that we worked on last year so this shouldn't take hardly any time at all to to clean out and honestly we might even be able to just dump besides some of the bigger chunks we might even be able to just dump the mulch right on top of it I don't know we'll see be cool if I had like tons of cardboard or something I could lay down, but I don't. <laughs> you guys, the chipmunks are like haunting me today. It's like between, an angel came around the corner. Oh, thanks. Listen, between you and the chipmunks, I'm about going to have a heart attack. Well, <laughs> They're out in full force today.
I'm just gonna, with one load, I wanna see if it will cover that stuff right there. There are some like little tiny sucker trees that are growing up that I'm just gonna cut with my trimmer here. If it gets pretty good coverage on it, then I might just keep going that way because I would rather get all of that done so I can work on my secret garden <laughs> uh, and then gradually move that way on the hill because I kind of need a flat section over here. I want to be able to drive the gator down or make a nice walking path and this hill is super steep and I can't really tell where it goes down to like a nice flattened area until we get into the next season when stuff starts to naturally die back. So I think I'm just going to come in here and trim off some of these sucker trees right here that are growing up and I'm hoping I can just lay the mulch down on this low vegetation and it will cover it fairly well. We'll see. And if not, we'll keep putting it that way. that actually worked I did leave it really thick and you know he'll probably have some things growing up but at least it will help with a lot of that coverage so I think I'm gonna keep going I've got all that I can cover up these sticks I'm saving because I want to make like a wattle fence eventually so I might have to like move those to a different spot These are all the sticks that I wanted to save. This one not so much, but I think I'm gonna pull all these out and put them somewhere else so I can get some mulch down here. That little section's all cleaned up and I'll find a spot for those sticks. Once I got all of that out of here, there's really not much in here. There's just a few little sucker trees, like a giant weed. I could get that out just with my bare hands. I don't need the pruner for that. And I think we can cover this area pretty good by just getting that stuff. So let's keep on going. The real story right here. This is how fast I'm really going. <laughs> and how much I'm breathing. Good thing is it's not nearly as hot as it is today. As it was yesterday when we did this. That's pretty good. All right, go dump it.
decided if I'm gonna take this tree out or not. We pro actually, we probably will. I'll let Nate cut that down with his chainsaw. Honestly, I could probably cut it with my chainsaw, but we'll leave that to the boys. They like doing that kind of stuff. So I'm putting this on really thick because it's covering lots of vegetation. And also when we drive on it, it will hopefully mat it down a little bit more. Wow, this is looking so crazy. It's just transforming. We still have to get caps for the retaining wall last year. They were like sold out for so long and then we just haven't gotten to it. So that will look a lot nicer too when we get those. I know some of you suggested growing ajuga out of it and I actually thought about that, but the ajuga grows so prolifically in my yard. I just didn't want it getting too out of control on here because I really like looking at this stone wall. So I didn't want this to look too messy, but that would be really pretty. All right, let's keep going. I think I actually might start dumping some down here now just to kind of round it off. So I've made it pretty far back, but this tree is just in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it down. Um, it's super leany anyway. I think it's really cool looking, but... <laughs> But I want to make this into a path, and that's kind of destructing the path. So Nadie's going to chop it for me. a couple days later and Nate and I actually finished laying all of the wood chips. That giant pile of 15 yards is completely gone and laid. I'll show you what we ended up doing. I really wanted to film it for you guys but down in there uh, there's just a really good chance there's poison ivy and I didn't see any. I can identify it very well because of my neighbor who showed me how to find it and identify it but just to be safe, uh, it was difficult to like take my gloves on and off all the time to like push record and move the, ca the camera around and stuff because it's on a slope and so it just, I was getting like really nervous that I was going to get poison ivy doing that. Uh, so we didn't film any of it. <laughs> so I apologize about that, but uh, that's usually not the case. I usually like pretty much film everything that we do uh, but I want to flip you around and show you what we ended up with it looks really great we ended up putting a lot more down here so I think the last time you saw I think we stopped it like right here so everything boy I would say from about here over and that's probably about 10 to 12 feet or more that way uh, that we, we put it on. We also went a little bit further this way with a few different yards and oh there's one of my, oh, a couple of my pool rings. We had a pool party yesterday with my family and the kids were just having a blast. Uh, but anyway we did that and then over here so I think we had stopped right at the back of these hasta. We did all that and it's on really, really thick. Like, I would say like a foot thick. That's how thick it is. It's pretty crazy. I ended up moving, so this is all new for you guys to see, but I ended up moving all those sticks, remember? And I'll show you where I put them, but all of these sticks, these were what I came in this spring, I think. And I'll try to find a picture, but I moved, I cut all these up. And I threw them in a pile right there this spring when I had kind of all this cleaned up. And they just sat there and then the weeds grew all around them. So 
those were those sticks. I just moved them to this little pile right here. And I was able to mulch all in here where those long sticks were. And I really, I think it kind of looks cool right there, that pile of sticks. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it looks cool. Anyway, we got all this laid down and we've started to make a path to this side. And this is where we kind of quit. So uh, the next low that we get, I'll continue up here. And that is where I put those long sticks. So they're kind of more out of the way. The ones that were on uh, the other side of that shed right there. Walk back down here and I am loving this because you can really see the beautiful wall that my brother and my husband built. And it just, it looks so great <laughs> with the mulch around it instead of all the weeds. So much fun. And then now, now that I got this section done, you know, right here, back in there is where I want to start to create a pathway to a secret garden. And I'm just really encouraged by this because, you know, it does take money to put in new gardens and buy mulch and plants and soil and uh, you got to have the right equipment, uh, you got to have time, uh, you have to have like the strength to do it. So it's not just like super, super easy. It takes time and all the things I just listed. And one of those things is something that, oh gosh, another bird feeder. <laughs> it's like a bird feeder. The squirrels uh, steal all our bird feeders and drag them into the woods. I was like, what is that over there? Anyway. The one thing on that list that I absolutely don't like is spending money. <laughs> so the fact that we got all of these wood chips for free is super encouraging to me because to be honest with you, I was kind of scratching my brain a bit on how I was going to control the weeds back here without having to just buy tons of mulch every year or rock or crushed stone or whatever. So this is going to be a game changer for me. and. This fall, uh, you know, we don't have any more wood chips left. In fact, we pretty much did what we wanted to do for now. And my sweet neighbor there across the little hydrangea patch, uh, she said she had been waiting for some wood chips for quite some time. And I was like, do you want these? <laughs> so I, we have got more than enough. So I was able to share them with her, which made my day. Anyway, I dropped off about four or five loads for her in the back of the gator and she's good to go for her garden on on that so i was really excited to do that but the cool thing is is i sent a text to the guy who dropped these wood chips off and i said thank you so much and he said no problem let me know when you want another load <laughs> so uh i think i think we need a little bit of a break <laughs> from hauling all of that uh, but maybe we'll get some dropped off in the fall when this stuff starts to die back a little bit but this is a great start, a great start. What I'll do is this will gradually turn into garden beds. Uh, you can see, obviously that one has been started uh, a couple years ago. Those has I just threw in um, two years, last year or two years ago. Uh, that's just being held over there along with all those over there. So we will gradually start to move the mulch aside and put in garden beds. Now, since I did put it over top of the weeds, I'm gonna give it probably a good couple weeks for them to just die back before I start to pull mulch back and, and plant some things. It's been like, especially down in there. Up here, I'm fine because this is all cleaned out and rototilled and it's, it's good to go. It's good to go for planting. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I know this wasn't the most exciting movie to watch, but this kind of stuff gets me really excited because it's just a fresh start where I can foster some more ideas and just be creative. I always feel really good when I can lay my head down at night and feel like I just made a good stamp on the day and I exerted the creativity that God gave me. So. Um, I'm just blessed to have had these free wood chips. I'm blessed to have my husband help me lay them. Uh, it, I'm blessed to be able to look at this beautiful retaining wall that my brother built me. And I'm gonna be super blessed when I get to split some of my hosta in this upcoming season. 
and start going to town on this area. And I hope that you guys are feeling super blessed too uh, with whatever is going on out there in your world. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.